happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you all how to do a different nail art technique and that is going to be using uh water slide decals i wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of nail art showing you all how to apply water slide decals and i'm going to show you all how to do it using two methods that's going to be um with sliding it off the back of the um decal paper and then also with using a jelly stamper but before i get into this fun nail art i do want to show you all some new polishes that i got in from madam glam they were kind enough to send me some more gel polishes to review you all know i love madam glam polishes um again they are vegan they're cruelty free nine free and hema free so let's hop into the colors that i got i'm gonna go ahead and get all this unboxed and then we'll get into some swatching, okay? Okay, so these are the colors that were sent over to review. Um, I'm gonna go through them one by one. So the first color I have here is Malaysia, okay? And I believe this is a rubber, yeah, it's a rubber base coat, which I actually have a rubber base coat on my natural nails right now. I'm using the one from Born Pretty, and I've been really, really enjoying it. And so I was really interested to try out more of Madame Glam's rubber base coats. But again, this one is Malaysia. And let's take a look at this color. Ooh, really beautiful soft pink color yeah that's really nice I like that a lot and the consistency it is a little bit thicker right of a gel than um, you know just Madame Glam's regular gel polishes but that is the normal consistency for a rubber base coat the nice thing about rubber base coats is that they can be like a natural uh, protecting over your um, natural nails to help strengthen um, and allow them to grow out they can also be used to apply full cover tips and there's just so many other ways that you can use rubber base coat but I've been really enjoying it lately just to protect my natural nails the next color we have here is perfect gold okay and let's take a look at this Ooh, talk about a rich gold color wow that is definitely perfect I am loving that that's a really nice gold Okay, so that's perfect gold. Next color I have here, I was actually wanting to get perfect pink from them, but I think that um, it was out of stock, and so they went ahead and sent me royal pink. Okay, and let's take a look at this color. Ooh, yeah, that's a really nice pink. That seems like a really good everyday pink, like a, like a pink that most people would want to wear on a regular basis, so I have that. I also have perfect blue, okay. And let's take a look at this blue. Ooh, a beautiful, rich blue color. Love this. Really nice blue. Love that. Okay, and then last but not least, um, I have an orange gel paint. This is actually my first gel paint that I have from Madam Glam. I do have some of their pudding gels, but I've never actually tried any of their gel paints. And so I'm excited to have this. Um, I was trying to get the perfect orange. I'm trying to build up my whole perfect collection, but I'm assuming they were out of stock with that. So that's why they sent me over the orange gel paint. And let me go ahead and get this open. One of the tools that I like to use to open um, a gel pot is um, this cuticle nipper here. And I like to go around the edge and just open it kind of halfway. Ooh, wow. That is beautiful. That's a really nice orange. Really, really nice orange. Okay. Alrighty. So, yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get all these colors swatched and we'll get into some nail art, okay? And I'm going to go in with just a flat top uh, square brush. And let's see how this swatches, you guys. Actually, let's see how it picks up, too. Okay, so this is what the gel paint looks like. Okay, nice consistency, very creamy. Feels creamy to the touch. <laughs> and so yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys how that swatches. Wow. Yeah, very opaque. Absolutely love Madame Glam polishes. And now I'm in love with their gel paints. This is really nice. One coat coverage levels beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60. Next, I'm going to go in with Perfect Gold. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a really pretty gold. I will say this one is a little bit more sheer um, than some of 
Madame Glam's other gel polishes, but it's still a really nice, beautiful gold that goes on smooth. You'll definitely want to go in with two coats of coverage of this, um, but I'll go ahead and cure that for 60. Next, I'm excited to try the Malaysia Rubber Base Coat. So this is how it applies. Wow, it's just so smooth. I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. Self levels beautifully. Next we have the perfect blue. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love this. This is a really nice blue. Like wow. Oh wow. Yeah, that's really gorgeous. I'm going to cure that. Last but not least, we have perfect pink. Beautiful. Go ahead and cure. This is what all the colors look like swatched out. They are absolutely beautiful. So the first color we have here is Malaysia. This is that really beautiful light pink rubber base coat. The next color here is Royal Pink. So this is a really beautiful baby pink color. It's a really pretty pink. Here is the perfect gold and I will say it is quite perfect. I love, love, love how this color looks. I do notice though that there's like a little bit of like streaks from the brush strokes but still a really beautiful gold nonetheless. Next we have perfect blue and again what can I say this blue is absolutely stunning. And then we have the orange gel paint and I must say I'm very impressed with the opacity of the gel paints. Um, I kind of want to com compare them to my mission control paints at some point but this is a really really beautiful orange. Kind of reminds me of like a Halloween orange almost. Um, but yeah y'all this is what all the colors looks like swatched out. I do have a discount code with Madam Glam. I'm going to leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below. In case you guys are interested in getting your hands on any of the Madam Glam products, I do highly recommend them. And then also, in case you guys are curious about the nail set that I have on, this is actually the Big Apple. This is from Madam Glam as well. Um, I've had this on for about a week now. Yeah, I did this set about a week ago and I'm um, absolutely loving this color, getting tons of compliments. So, this is another color from Madam Glam as well. If you all are wanting to check that out, this is probably one of my favorite greens from them. But yeah, y'all, let's get into some water slide decal art, okay? So I do have a few of the colors swatched out already. I went in with two coats of the Perfect Gold, the Malaysia Rubber Base Coat, the Royal Pink, as well as the Perfect Blue. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a top coat. So whenever I'm doing water slide decals, I like to apply a top coat because um, it gets slightly messy with the water and having that, that nice shiny no stick top coat helps to keep all the nail art nice and neat. So I'm gonna go, to, go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, happy people. So as I'm applying the no wipe top coat to all the nails, just wanted to give y'all a quick update on the channel. So due to time restraints with my new job and that adjustment period that I'm having right now, I'm not able to upload as much nail art as I would like. So you all will be seeing more hauls, watch videos and or just simple nail art tutorials like this particular video. Um, but I'm hoping that in the near future I'll be able to get back to doing some full sets with some fun nail art. But yeah, let's get back into how to apply water slide decals. So one of the things I like to use for water slide decals is actually this little cap that comes off of my um, jelly stamper. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some water into here. Then another thing you'll also want to have is a paper towel handy as well as some tweezers. My tweezers here. Also want some scissors so that you can cut out the image that you're getting ready to use. So these are all of my colors here, right? I want to go ahead and pick out some images that I think would be cool to put on here. I did have this one. This has like really cute like hot air balloons. So I thought that might be cute to put on the blue nail. So that's probably where I'll put that at. When you are wor working with water slide decals, um, what you want to do is first remove the plastic covering that's on the decal, like so, and then you'll want to take, oops, and then you'll want to take the image 
and then just submerge it in water like so and you really only need to leave it in there for about like 10-15 seconds now that the image has been soaking for about I actually soaked it for about 25 seconds I'm gonna go ahead and remove it let's see is it ready yet actually Actually, it's not even ready yet, so I'm going to let it soak a little bit more. Alrighty, so I went ahead and actually soaked the image for about a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it from the water, like so. And then, um, while I have it laying on the paper towel, I'll just go ahead and move the image with my tweezers slightly off of the backing. So as you all can see, and I'm just going to remove the rest of the backing, like so. And so now I have my image here on my paper towel. I like to kind of let it sit on the paper towel a little bit just so that um, some of the water can be absorbed from the back of it. And now you pick it up and you have your image. And so this is, to me, it feels like a, it's almost like a sticker at this point, right? And so then you would just apply it to the nail like you would a sticker. The only difference is, um, which is actually a plus, is that since it's a water slide decal, you actually can move it around pretty freely. But yeah, you just place it where you want on the nail, and then you just lightly tap down the sides. And that's it, that's all, y'all. So this is how you do a water slide decal by just like placing it with the tweezers. I'm gonna show you guys that technique one more time. So I'm gonna take these two roses here and submerge them in water. Before you do that, make sure you remove the film from the water slide decal, otherwise um, the image won't separate. So I'm gonna put that one rose in. Again, when it's done soaking, you'll put it on the paper towel. Just separate the image from the decal backing, like so. And then let the image kind of sit on the paper towel, just so some of the water can absorb from the back of it. Do the same thing with the other image, like so. Again, you just gently remove it and let it soak on the paper towel. And I'm going to put these two images on this beautiful pink nail here. So again, you just take it, and you kind of put it where you want it to be, and you set it down. You do the same thing with the other image. You pick it up and set it down where you want it to be. And that's it. So I'm not trying to do any type of design or anything like that. Again, I'm just wanting to show you all the different techniques of how to do water slide decals. Next image I want to do is this really cool origami um image of an elephant so i'm going to take this off remember to always remove the filming and then i'll go ahead and soak this in the water um i find that soaking it for about 30 seconds is plenty and this time i want to show you all how to pick up the image using a jelly stamper so i do have my jelly stamper here ready to go so after the image has soaked for about uh, 30 seconds or so you'll go to, you'll want to go ahead and remove it from the water and you'll want to first make sure that the water, I mean, you'll first want to make sure the decal is uh, loose from the backing. So I do that by kind of moving it with my tweezers, and it is. So then from there, what you'll do is you'll go ahead and take your jelly stamper, and you'll roll and pick the image up. So I'm going to roll and pick that image up. So you see? The image is now on my stamper. And then from here, you'll just go on to uh, stamping the image like you would if you were stamping. So then from here, you'll go ahead and line it up where you want it to be. And then just stamp it like so. How cool is that? Love it. That's a really cool image. So yeah, that's the little elephant here. The last two images, I'm gonna also show you all how to do the stamping with it. But again, you'll just take the images, submerge it in water, let it soak for about 30 seconds. Now that it's been about 30 seconds or so, I'm gonna go ahead and do these images one at a time. So first I'm gonna take the first feather here, I'm gonna lay it on my paper towel, and I'm just gonna make sure that the image moves a little bit, and it does. So now I'm gonna go in with my jelly stamper here, and I'm gonna roll and pick the image up. So I'm gonna roll, pick the image up, and as you can see, it has been picked. Okay, and so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and place the feather on the nail where I want it to be. I think I want it to go like right about here. You press down, pull up. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try it again. You roll it off. There we go. <laughs> and 
and now the image is ready to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that one more time with the other image here. Oops, it already slid off, okay. Like so, okay, yeah, that one's ready to go. Uh, hopefully it'll pick up, let's do it like this. Okay, and then again, with this image, roll and pick it up, roll and pick it up, like so. Then again, just like stamping an image that you've picked up and put it down just like that. So yeah, that's what that looks like. These are two different techniques that you can use for using water slide decals. Um, I feel like that's not a nail or item that a lot of people use or talk about much. Um, so I thought it'd be cool for those who are curious and want to know how to use it. I showed you two different methods of using it here. So um, just after this, you would go ahead and apply top coat to all the nails. You would just use a gel top coat and that'll seal all the images in and prevent them from like uh, coming off the nail and such. Yeah, so from here, you want to go in with your gel top coat. Alrighty, so this is what all the nails are looking like. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. This is just a quick way to um, do some quick nail art. I do feel like nail, uh, water slide decals aren't talked about a lot um, when it comes to nail art, but they are another easy way to um, do nail art, especially if you struggle doing freehand nail art or if you're just looking for a quick design. So yeah, let me know what you all think about this tutorial. Have you all tried water slide decals and what do you think of them? So yeah, and another special thanks to Madam Glam for sending these beautiful polishes over for review. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!